Hello, I'm Reverend Clark Edwards, the president of the Manatee County Ministerial Association. And I want to say a word of welcome to you on this National Day of Prayer. It is our prayer that this service will be a clear call to all of us to, to continue to pray for our nation and the world. Second Chronicles 7.14 reminds us, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. We're also reminded of these words, Do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This morning I will be offering our first prayer of the day as we pray for healing for all those who are ill from COVID-19. I invite you to pray with me. Father God, you are the ultimate healer of all. We come before you to pray for those infected with this virus. We pray for not only their healing, but for them to be comforted while they heal. We pray, Lord, for complete healing around the globe for every community of people. We pray for those doctors and nurses and others who are on the front line trying to help others. We pray for their protection and safety. We give thanks to you, Father God, for your guidance and wisdom in all things. And we seek to honor you in all that we do. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Pastor Phil Durstein with the Family Church at Christian Retreat in Bradenton, Florida. In this 
crisis time of pandemic, I'm going to just read the 911 scripture uh, here in Psalms 91, Psalms 91 verse 1, on behalf of our nation, and then we're going to pray. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And then it says in verse 9, If you make the Most High your dwelling, then there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Father, we thank you that this great nation was founded by men and women of God under the covering of this word, under the covering of your Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, at this time of high crisis for our nation, Lord, spiritually, economically, Lord, in every way, our nation's being challenged, but Father, we know that you are the answer. And right now I pray, Lord, let America make you our dwelling place that we might dwell in the secret place of your presence. I pray, Father, for a hunger for holiness, a hunger for righteousness to come upon people of all faith, Lord, in our nation. So Father, you can hear us from heaven Forgive our sins, Lord, and heal our land. Father, let men and women turn their attentions once again to the one and only true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Father, we pray a special blessing upon our leaders from our president on down, Lord, even to our local city, our local county, our local leadership. Father, I pray, let men and women of God rise up and be counted and call our nation and people to prayer. And Father, we thank you for your promise that you'd hear us from heaven and forgive our sins and heal our land. Father, we thank you for this national day of prayer. We thank you, Lord, that there are people calling the nation to prayer at this time. And Father, that you're bringing an answer, a solution, a healing, a healing touch, Father, to our nation in the midst of this crisis. We thank you for it. And we say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Hi, I'm Pastor Nancy Stiles. And on this World Day of Prayer, I've been asked to lift up families today. So if you would, won't you pray with me? Oh, gracious God, how we thank you so much for families, especially during this time of this pandemic. Lord, we come to you today lifting up all kinds of families. Lord, families with children, families without children, single families, families, Lord, that have multiple persons within them, families with children that are raised by single moms that are trying to make ends meet, families that have two parents that are trying to figure out how they're going to be struggling to manage their work responsibilities at home and yet having children, maybe multiple kids at home at this time, and it's just really, really hard to function. Lord, we lift up many, many kinds of families. Lord, times when families are trying to figure out how to uh, pay for groceries and to pay all of the bills at this time when so many people are out of work, when people have been furloughed, when people have been fired. Lord, we know that you have all things that are working to good for those that love you. Lord, we know it's hard to figure out how it may feel good at this time. But Lord, we pray today that you would just come and, and bless every family, Lord, including those that are just single persons. They too are a family. And so, Lord, today we are lifting up everyone, families that are struggling, families that are home, that are being blessed by other family members that are helping them. So we pray, Lord, that you would help us all to see the needs around us, that we might begin to share with others when we can do that. And if we can't do that at this time, we pray that we might be bold enough to ask for help. That we might be able to say, I need a hand right now. I need to have extra groceries. I need uh, to ask for help. 
And so, Lord, we just pray that we will do whatever we can at this point to ask and reach out to others to get our needs met for our families, Lord, at this time. May we be the church to those who are in need. Lord, may we be your people, helping one another, being your hands and feet in the world. So, Lord, we pray for those all over the world today. And we ask, Lord, that you would protect our children, our families of all ages, those who are aged. We ask for your healing for our world and for all of the families. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you. And be at peace. Amen. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. And I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and they can't take that away. I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota To the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas From sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston And New York to L.A. Where well, there's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and say American, where at least I know I'm free, and I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me, and I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land, God bless the USA. Hello and God bless you. My name is Gene Maddox and I'm the pastor at Onico United Methodist Church. And today I have the privilege of leading us in prayer for our military. When I say our military, I'm including veterans as well. And we're including the families of our military and the families of our veterans. We may not be able to be on the battlefield with them, but our prayers can be with them. They have given so much for us, and they give so much for us. 
One of the great ways that we can support them is through our prayers. So I would ask you now, whatever you're doing, to just put everything else aside and let us together bring our military to the throne of grace. Let us intercede for them and let us give thanks for them. Please join your heart with mine and may we all join our hearts with the Holy Spirit as we pray together. Let us pray. <clears throat> Greater love has no one than this, than one lay down his life for his friends. Father, we thank and praise you for the Lord Jesus Christ, who freely laid down his life for us and gave us an example of what it means to die for another out of love. Lord Jesus Christ, while there is no life and no death and no sacrifice that can compare to yours, today we thank you for all those in our retired and active military who have been and are willing to lay down their life for us and this great nation. We are amazed at the largeness and generosity of their hearts and sacrifices. <clears throat> Father, we thank you also for the families of our retired and active military. We are so grateful for their spouses and their children, mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters. Their sacrifice too is magnanimous and ongoing. And we thank you too, Lord, for our commander in chief, President Donald Trump. And now, Father, we come to you to intercede for all of them as we bring them to your throne of grace. May the leaders of our nation be given divine wisdom and insight in order to bring about peace and justice without war wherever possible. But when military action is required, may it always be that our cause is good and right and just. Give our military then the courage of a lion, the strength of an ox, and the vision of an eagle. Father, we pray that you would make them so mighty, so strong, and so smart that the fear of them would deter our enemies from ever striking us. We pray also today, Lord, for our many veterans. How grateful we are for their sacrifices. Sacrifices so great that we cannot even begin to understand. But how saddened we are when we hear of their injuries, their PTSD, and even their suicides. Help us to extend our hearts and our hands and our resources to them. And now, Father, we commit our military to you, officers and non-officers, in combat and not in combat. We pray for our great military academies. We give you our army, our navy, our air force, our Marines, our Coast Guard, and our Space Force. We pray for each one. Our greatest prayer for them is that they would come to know Jesus Christ as his or her Lord and Savior. And, O oh God, may they be kept safe under the shadow of your wings. In the name of Jesus Christ, who gave his life for all of us, our Lord, Savior, and God, amen and amen. God bless you. And may the spirit of prayer continue in our hearts these days. May we remember our military on a regular basis in our hearts and our prayers and our thanksgivings. God bless you all. Thank you. O oh, precious and eternal God, we come before you 
asking for blessings upon our businesses. Lord, we bless the owners, we bless the managers, we bless the supervisor, and we bless each and every employee. Lord, allow customers to frequent their doors and give them mercy and grace as we continue to pray for peace, understanding, and unity during this time of crisis. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you for the church, your kingdom here on earth. We rejoice in you, Lord Jesus, as the head of the church. And we are so glad to know, Holy Spirit, of your presence in the church. We are grateful for Holy Scripture, which teaches us in black and white who we are as members of the church and how we are to conduct ourselves in the church and in the world. We thank you for written records as well as oral records of members of the church who are now a part of the church triumphant, the church in heaven, men and women who, though not perfect, were nonetheless faithful and we are encouraged by their example. We know that we are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that we may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. We understand that we have a fierce enemy, one who we cannot defeat without your help, Holy Spirit. We struggle against the father of lies, the proponent of falsehoods, the great deceiver, the one who hoodwinked Adam and Eve and now tries to lead us astray. Thank you, O God, that we may, by your great grace, resist the devil and he will flee from us. Help us to be as fruitful as possible as we walk the straight and narrow way 
the way, the truth, the life we have in and through Jesus. O oh Lord, especially during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, help us to love our neighbors as we want our neighbors to love us. Help us to understand how we may use the resources you have given to us, our health, our training, our life experiences, our time, our energy, our wealth, to help those with such desperate needs, the sick, the dying, those grieving, the unemployed, the underemployed, the despairing, the tempted, the faithless, that many may turn from darkness to light through our witness. O oh God, we are so blessed, so loved by you. We are so glad to be your children through our being born again. We praise and thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.